I moved to San Francisco a few years ago. Sure, like any city, it had its problems. Yet over the years, I've noticed an alarming increase of homelessness and drugs. When the pandemic first hit, homeless were taken in to vacant hotels to keep them off the streets and safe. In May, it was revealed that the homeless in these hotels were given free booze and marijuana. Fast forward to now in December, it appears that the homeless drug problem is far worse than COVID-19. A record number of 612 people died from drug overdoses versus the 173 people from COVID-19. The drug most commonly reported is fentanyl, the same drug that contributed to the tragic death of George Floyd. Fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. And because of this pandemic, it has disrupted city services like housing and treatment and left many people who rely on the help of others to save them if they overdose or use alone. Experts say that the loneliness, isolation, and the stress of this pandemic has resulted in a spike of overdoses around the country. It is not my intention to downplay the tragedy of this pandemic but to highlight an equally important issue. And that, of course, is mental health. COVID fatigue has in many ways become an official diagnosis. Caution fatigue is a mental and emotional state. It's different from the physical fatigue as a symptom of depression of COVID-19. The good news is that there are ways to fight this depression. Some of the basics cover consume less alcohol or find ways to reduce stress, such as yoga, meditation, or breathing exercises. And if your routine is off, then build a new one. Remember, you are not alone. You are not overreacting. Even the most content and seemingly resilient people still feel this pain. Speak with a therapist if you can, if not with a trusted friend or family member. And lastly, which I know I personally am very guilty of, is that we should take breaks from your steady stream of news, articles, or social media and make sure that you are following credible sources. I know it's easy to get wrapped up in all these conspiracy theories, get really paranoid and depressed, but... At the end of the day, sometimes it's just best to log off and chill out. I know because of the holidays, we want to put on a happy face. Deep within our hearts, we want things to feel and be okay when in fact they actually aren't. I think it's time that we all just accept that it really is okay to not be entirely okay. 2020 has been a devastating and painful experience for all of us. On that note, I do hope you are all well, doing what you can to bring light and joy to these holidays, but please enjoy yourself and happy holidays. I'll catch you later and I'll see you later in my next video. Bye!